I mean, the show was an incredible challenge because we were designing it as it was being shot. The largest sequence to work on was the worm capture, and we knew that presented the most problems for what could be shot on the set in Prague because we knew they'd be very limited as to what they could get. So it right off the bat became that was going to be a sequence that Area 51 would have to provide for the show, almost the entirety. The worm capture sequence actually ran the entire length of the production. Uh, it was one of the first things I started and one of the last things I finished. Strangely enough, I think this whole sequence in Dune Messiah is taken up off screen by one sentence. Uh, what originally happened is uh, we all got together and figured out how you would capture a giant sandworm, especially if uh, no one had done it before. So uh, we came up with the idea of this uh, folding cage that was underneath the sand, and uh, I laid out maybe about 35 shots um, in what's known as an animatic without actors, with uh, uh, CG puppets, if you will, uh, standing in for where the actors would be to give the editor and the director a sense of the timing of, of the sequence. We began animating that, I think it was before the director even came on board. Give them to the editor, Harry, and he cut them together, threw in sound effects, actually scored the whole piece. So it went through a couple variations, but by the time the director was ready to shoot that sequence, it had been fairly fine-tuned. At that point, they're shooting the actual live action plates of the actors in Prague, so the, uh, the Czech actors would be watching our footage on the screen while they were acting. We even suggested camera angles and lighting and everything else from our animatic. Usually it's, it's done the other way around, but uh, the production uh, was much later than uh, we had time for. And uh, for the most part, that stayed fairly close. We actually had some sequences where cables were snapping and cranes were falling. Originally in that shot, he, they were thrown out into space and then uh, in the next shot, you see some people hooking up some hooks, and the bodies were falling like rag dolls, but uh, uh, a change came down from the directors to uh, actually have them eat. The worms were, weren't seen a whole lot in the first miniseries. In this miniseries, there are uh, people riding them all over the place. They're uh, looked at very closely, and uh, as everyone knows, this show was done in high definition. So I had to go in and uh, rebuild the worms a scale at a time, build them out into maybe a segment, and then build those segments out to make the worm. At high definition, which was uh, a surprise on this show as well, in the middle of production, you end up with some extraordinarily long render times per frame. It's the last 10 weeks, 12 weeks of this show, we had 80 processes running constantly never stopped. We were rendering, you know, until the very final day before delivery. I mean, you have to kind of run and gun. It's guerrilla filmmaking.